In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most important plays in the bunch tight end formation that is going to allow you to basically combat a lot of what the defense will try to do to slow down this offense. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. It's completely free to do that and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we share every single day right here on my YouTube channel. Now in this video, like I said, I'm going to be going over the bunch tight end and I'm going to be going over to play tight end corner out of the run heavy playbook. And if you want to get my full gun bunch tight end offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description below it's my opinion it's one of the better offenses in the game i think it's the best offense because it, it combines simplicity consistency and the ability to absolutely bomb pretty much every single base coverage that your defense is going to face in madden 22 so if you want to learn how to bomb all the coverages and be able to have great pass protection and just a lot of consistency on the offensive side of the ball I would certainly encourage you to get it. This offense is absolutely lethal. I have absolutely loved running it over the last couple of days. I personally actually think it's more powerful and maybe even more effective than the gun bunch uh, that a lot of you have been watching in competitive Madden or weekend league. The bunch tight end is insanely effective this year. It's better than you think. So if you want to get access to the offensive guide, I put a link to that in the description of the video. Now we're going over this play tight end corner and what we're going to do first is we're going to show you a base aligned 30 yard cloud flat with our bunch to the wide side of the field. The reason I want to show this is because the crossing route from gun bunch tight end can only be effective um, if the bunch is to the short side of the field if we're trying to beat a 30 yard cloud flat. But all you're going to do is you're going to smart route the circle receiver. Um, from a setup perspective, I'm not going to talk too much about anything. Just take the tight end, put him on a delay fade, and then from there you can just simply run a flooding concept on the left. So you can put the running back on in route and the square receiver on a streak. You can do whatever you want. I just want to focus on the post route without a tight end corner so don't put a tight end corner on the field run a streak to the tight end or run something like a delay fade just make sure there's nobody over there and watch what's going to happen this is a 30 yard cloud take a look at what this post route does it absolutely gets over the top of that and allows you to fit the ball into a really really tight window now if i streak the tight end um you'll see that it's going to be even more open so i'll show that real quick and then we'll get into uh one other thing that i want to show um that is actually something that's super effective that people will do if they're facing bunch tight end this is something that you can do to combat that so anyways this is a 30 yard cloud flat i just want you to watch this just watch the circle receiver when i put a streak on the field you see how the cloud flat just doesn't get there just does not get there and i'm able to complete that route to me that is absolutely huge because now it opens up a world of possibilities there's no zone drop in the game that can get back into that area and that is huge for me because obviously the 30 yard cloud flat is probably the best zone in the game in, per in terms of defending crossers and things like that and it's not able to get back there so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take a quick sack here and give myself a little bit more space so that I can show this next um, this next concept. And one of the things that I find that people will do, especially if they're defending bunch tight end, is they will play um, cover four drop, but they'll, what they'll do is they'll basically go ahead and they'll press coverage out of it and they'll tail that. They basically are relying on the outside quarter zone to defend the crosser. Well, the beauty of this is with this post route, even though it's, and I'm not gonna smart route it here. Um, I would normally if I had like a first down or whatever, but let's just go over this crossing route. I just wanna show you what it does to cover four. You're gonna see that that outside quarter does not react to the ball and I can easily pass that up against cover four drop. Whereas a crossing route, I'm not able to do that. If I, if I throw a crossing route, it's not gonna get open. That quarter will play it every single time. And let me show you that same concept, but now we're gonna take it a step further and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna base align that. And then I'm also going to play a 30 yard cloud underneath it. So you see here, I've got that linebacker on a cloud and I've got the quarter zone base align, which makes it, I think, a little bit more effective. But anyway, let's just go through this real quick and take a look at this post route. See how it just glitches that out. It gets over the top of that every single time. Right there, I think, personally, just that's where we smart route it. And I'll punt the ball back and show you what I'm talking about. Because I took a sack, I wasn't able to smart route it. I also kind of got a bad pass lead um, from Brady. 
and I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. And again, I'm going to put my bunch. I want to be able to put my bunch or my three wide receivers to the wide side of the field um, so that I could run corner routes and, and all that stuff. So let me show you what I'm talking about here and then we'll wrap this video up in just a moment. So I just want to kind of show you that this concept is super sound uh, from the tight end corner. And this tight end corner to me is actually probably the most important play if you're going to run bunch tight end as an actual offense, which is why I recommend if you're running the bunch tight end to please, please run the tight end corner. It's really, really effective um, and it's really, really good. I'm going to show you why I ran it right now. So uh, when I'm able to smart route him, you see that it gets him just a little bit more depth. That little bit more depth is absolutely game changing in terms of how this is going to work uh, against a cover four drop. So I'm in cover four drop. Watch that baseline quarter. See how he doesn't stand a chance now at being able to play it because I got that smart route and I'm able to get over the top of the quarter zone. This is a phenomenal passing concept that you can use to basically render a lot of what the defense is going to try to do from either maybe a match defense perspective or a zone drop defense perspective completely useless. This post route is absolutely lethal. I would really encourage you to try this out. And if you want to get my full bunch tight end offensive guide, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. You can get that full defense or our full offensive guide for just $15. It'll literally change how you play offense in Mountain 22 because it will show you not only how you can be super simplified and only have to learn a couple of plays, but those couple of plays that you learn are going to absolutely blow your mind in terms of how effective and how insanely hard they are to stop from pretty much anything the defense is going to do. You're going to find so much consistency in being able to bomb literally any coverage in the game. You've got plays like tight end corner where there's really nothing they can do besides user that, which is gonna obviously open up everything else on the other side of the field. So I would encourage you to get it. I'm having a ton of fun running this offense right now. I think it's the most fun and I think it's also probably gonna be the most effective offense in the game once people start to catch on to how good it is. So thanks for watching this video. And and if you want to get my bunch tight end offensive guide, just go down to the description, click that link. It'll take you right over to the website and we'll get you all squared away. We'll see you guys next time.